Hello everybody. We um, we kind of have some sad news. Last night when we got home from the chocolate factory, we were playing with uh, Kirby and he seemed like everything was fine. He was playful, he was happy, and he was lovey and cuddly. And then uh, we all went to bed and when we woke up, he, uh, he died on us last night. So everybody's really sad right now. We don't know what happened or why. It just totally unexpected and sudden. You know, like I said, he seemed like everything was cool and then all of a sudden he's just not here anymore so we're uh we're all a little shucking up this morning kayla's hanging in there she's doing fine but we're gonna go and try to see if we can you know try to find somebody um not necessarily to replace him but we wanted to have a pet you know as a member of our family and you know we only had kirby for about a week so the poor little guy he got he either was sick you know sometimes that happens when you buy animals from a pet store you just never know what kind of condition that they're in or how healthy they are and apparently he wasn't as healthy as we we would have liked him to be so god rest your soul little buddy i'm sure you're going to be fine up there in heaven and we'll um i'm sure your little brother uncle or nephew or whatever, niece whatever we end up with here uh will be loved just as much as you were so uh we will uh share this journey with you as we go and and try to find uh, a new buddy for our family here and we'll um, we'll be back soon okay guys so last night as you probably already know Kirby died so we I'm still trying to get over it but we still have the tank and everything and we wanted to have a new family member in the family so we decided we're gonna go get another one and we decided that we're gonna get this little guy right here. He's only 10 weeks old, but he's um, in, where is he? What city, Mommy? Uh, he's in, it's almost in well, Tampa. Yeah, it's almost like, it's, he's like two hours away, so we're on a road trip to go get him. And so I'm excited that we get to see him, but I'm sad that Kirby's gone. Kirby was so, super nice, but I know that he's in a happy place now, and he gets to hang out with all his chinchilla friends in heaven and just like live his life happily in heaven. We're traveling to the ends of the earth for this little guy. Yeah. He's gonna be worth it, I know it. Just look at the picture. Just look at that picture. He's adorable. Okay, you guys, pray for us. Cross your fingers that this is the one for us. We really don't want to deal with another loss. I just, it's been really hard. I haven't wanted to video today because of this. So please uh, think about us and have happy thoughts. And uh, we'll show you in a minute. Or actually, we got about another half an hour or so before we get there and then we'll all get to see. To you, see. it'll be like 10 seconds. Yeah, it'll be it'll be a minute for you. But uh, yeah, we got we got a few more minutes for us before we get there. But we're really excited and hopeful. So stay tuned. We got cows. And what you want to do is hold him by the base of the tail. Okay. And he's just a baby. Just leaving mom now, so he's going to be a little scared. Okay. Yeah. And if you hold him, like, yep. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to hold the base of his tail. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's going to take a little time. Oh. So no sudden movements or no loud noises. Mm-hmm. For a while, and then. <laughs> Hi. You're just a little baby. Mm-hmm. He's so cute. So cute. <laughs> Let's see. Hi. Hello. 
Are those little whiskers or just did, he, did you give him a name? Has he been being called anything? No, I don't name him. <laughs> Mine's got whiskers. Oh my god, oh, I can't <laughs> <laughs> you cry, sick kid. Woo! <laughs> it's like a wild gooch kid. No, no, no. We made it home. Yes. We made it home. Hello. Hello, little guy. He likes us a lot. Whoa. Little fella. Catch him. So we just got home. What'd you see? We just got home. We let him roll around for a little bit. Oh, he's getting wily. Hey guys. Uh, we didn't really get a chance to wrap up the vlog yesterday. Uh, we had a really long day trying to deal with um, the loss of another pet and then um, on the journey and search for a new love, um, a new family member. So. My hair's a mess. Yeah, we just got. We got home so late last night and um, our new little friend was kind of exhausted so we didn't want to keep pestering him and bugging him and trying to film him. So uh, we're going to try and sh just give you a little peek today and we want to let him keep resting and get adjusted before we do very much more with him. Um, but he does look to be very, very healthy and strong and full of spirit and so we're really excited. Um, did you want to say anything, Boo? Uh, I don't know what to say. I just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> we did just wake up. It's early in the morning. I haven't even seen Tyler yet. Um, but um, we're going to see if we can get a little peek, get a little peeky poo of our new little guy. Oh, and then another thing is uh, we need help. We need your guys' help. We need to find a really good name for this one. Um, just uh Take a good look and then let us know what you think he should be called. It's a little boy. He was born on Valentine's Day, so he is a little lovey. Um, he's just a scared little lovey right now because it's a new home. So let's see what we can get. It just got dark in here. Hi, doll baby. This is our new friend. He looks almost exactly like Kirby was. He's just... He just got weaned off his mama though, so he's very unsure of his surroundings. It's probably going to take him like a week to get used to us. Kirby came from a pet store and it was handled by all kinds of people and so we don't know what kind of condition he ultimately was handed over to us in. Um, obviously um, he had an issue that we were unaware of, so this time he came from um, a yeah, a, so okay. a professional breeder that um, took all the loving care and put it into him and he was with his mommy the whole time so this is the first time without his mommy. Anyways, I'm going to back off because I don't want him to be stressing out. It's a lot that these little guys go through when they first leave their home. So he's probably going to need about a week or two to get adjusted to us. That was our new little friend. Um, if you guys can help us come up with a name, that would be awesome. We would really appreciate your input. Okay, everybody. Well, thanks for hanging out with yesterday. It was kind of a long, stressful day, you know, but uh, it looks like everything finally worked out the way that it was supposed to. So we, we uh, want to thank you for joining us on this journey here. And if uh, you like this video, uh, make sure you hit that little thumbs up button down there. That really helps us a lot. And um, we will uh, be sure to introduce you to our new guy here once you help us get him a name for him. And, you know, as we get him, you know, more comfortable and he gets more comfortable with us. And yeah. <laughs> it'll be uh, kind of fun to have a new family member here once again. And uh, he, he looks a lot healthier. So I think we, you know, I think we're in good shape this time. We went to a professional breeder instead of a point, uh, pet store. So that can make a big difference too. So we... Um, I want to thank you guys once again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Yeah! Bye. 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 Bye.